Well, 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 the Las Vegas truck race is over. And what do you got to say? Great racing, terrible officiating, and a first-time winner. Let's get into it. So to start on the first point, the racing I thought was really, really good. A lot of competitive action up front for the lead, especially with drivers like Todd Gillen, John Henry Majek before he had engine problems, and Christian Eckes especially. They were all up footing constantly. And there was also a lot of great action back in the pack. A lot of three wide and even four to five wide racing, which got me on the edge of my seat. That was pretty sweet to watch. There were, however, some problems with the officiating. As is common with NASCAR races, they call whatever the heck they see, which might just be a bird on the camera, for all we know. John Ernemachek stalled twice during the race, and it took them forever to call it. Oh, come on. Come on, not again! Put it out! Yep. Likewise, Zane Smith cut a tire, and it took them forever for them to call that while he was losing position after position after position. And he loses position after position! Did he cut a tire? He spit us! He's, oh, he almost spun! Oh, jeez Louise! So, really awkward. On the other side of officiating, you also had Carson Ozevar, who spun out with about seven laps to go, which frankly looked very, very intentional to me, which is why he's got a nurse effect pit road. Five of the eight playoff drivers. Oh my Jesus Christ almighty on a pogo stick. He spun and he caused the caution. You don't think he did that on purpose, do you think? You can make that judgment for yourself, but it's not particularly normal for a car to just, or a truck to just stop like that when it spins out. Usually you'll just see the truck drivers try, at least try to get it going again, especially when there isn't really anyone around on the apron. So, highly suspect, and it might have altered the race. The race was full of action and full of playoff implications as well, as five of the eight playoff drivers had problems. To start off, as mentioned, Zane Smith had a tire problem, and it sent him sprawling to the back of the field for the entirety of the race. Don Nemechek lost an engine, or had some sort of engine problem, which eventually resulted in him being parked by NASCAR. The real problem came with the big one. Triggered went by simultaneous spin outs with Tyler Ankrum and Chandler Smith. They would also ultimately spin into Haley Deegan, Chase Purdy, and Sheldon Creed. Sheldon Creed and Chandler Smith are, of course, playoff drivers, and I was not particularly pleased with what I saw. Ankrum crashed as well. There is the 23 of Chase Purdy. I believe I saw the one of Haley Deegan in there. What the hell? No. Oh my god. Three championship contenders with brutal problems. And there is the remains of Ankrum's truck over there. But damn. Help me, Tom Cruise. I'm on fire. Yeah, so that was pretty bad. And on top of that, you also had, well, the worst driver ever spin out. You take your spin and you can shove it up your ugly ass. And you fucked up Jack Wood in the process. God damn! And then you also had Carson Hosevar with his shenanigans. That's uh, because we don't really know if it was intentional or not. Assuming it was, though, because NASCAR parked him in pit road for one lap, effectively neutering his finish. And speaking of finishes, why don't we look at the end of the race? Ben Rhodes going on the outside. Can the 20 year old from Middletown, New York hold off for the win? Rhodes looking to advance to the round of four for the first time. Caution is out! The race is over! Christian Eckes, the 20 year old from Middletown, New York, is finally a winner in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. Redemption for getting the shaft from Kyle Busch Motorsports. He wins the victorious Voice Foundation 200. Let's go! I gotta give it to the New York boys. So yeah, my home state boy, Christian Eckes, pulls off the W. Finally, I've been rooting for him all last year, and it would suck to see him out of a ride, and to see him finally pull off a W, especially after one of his runner-ups last year was to frickin' Kyle Busch. That's awesome to see. Anyways, you can see from the top 10 here, um, the top four are all Thor Sport, which is the first time a team has ever gone one, two, three, four in the truck series. Eckes, Rhodes, Kraft, and Sauter. Other great runs for Todd Gilland, who led most of the laps, but due to the late race caution caused by Carson Osevar, 
he was not able to get back to the lead and he ended up having to settle for fifth, which would have sucked because it would have been good for redemption after he got out of the playoffs last week at Bristol. Great runs for Grant and Finger, finishing seventh, basically the fifth Thor Sport driver because he shares the 98 with Ekus. And also Austin Wayne Self and Ryan Truex getting top tens. Anyway, as you can see now from the new point standings, we had quite a shakeup. Chandler Smith goes from fifth to eighth, which sucks for him, along with the other Smith, Zane Smith. Both of them in the same positions they were for the most of round one, which is seventh and eighth, respectively, and they're a decent ways back. Carson Osevar was already was last in the standings, and now he is up to sixth. But Sheldon Creed went from, I think, 19 points above the cut line to five below it, thanks to his horrific crash. Meanwhile, Matt Crafton and Stuart Friesen doing quite well for themselves. They were both below the cut line, and now they're above it. Nima Cech obviously lost some ground after his engine problems, so he's down to second, with Ben Rhodes after his great finish of second propelling him up there. As for what's going to happen at Talladega, for my purposes, how this would change, I don't really know. As Vince Welch pointed out, no playoff driver has ever won at Talladega in trucks, so it's pretty much a toss-up for what's going to happen there. I know Zane Smith crashed her last year, and so did, I think, Friesen. So, who knows? It's going to be Talladega! Why try to worry about it? Anyway, that's going to do it for today's race review slash reaction. Hopefully that you enjoyed this new style. I'm still trying to get used to it. But I hope that you enjoyed it. So remember, this is Bowser Jr. XD. Remember to hit that like button and comment and leave a subscription. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.